friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla. I'm Kayla, and I appreciate you stopping by to visit and hang out today. I hope you're all having a great day. So what did you guys do over the weekend? Did you do anything special? Um, what do you have going on this week? What's your plans for the week? So over the weekend, let's see, Saturday... I don't believe we did anything Saturday. Oh, Saturday night, we did ride up to Sonic and got a drink. And then we went out and further into the country than we are to see if we could see the northern lights because they were supposed to be visible again for Saturday night for the last time. And they weren't, we could not see anything. So. But some people got some awesome pictures. You know, we it was just really cloudy here, and so we couldn't see that well, anything at all. <laughs> we barely, every now and then the moon would come out from behind the clouds, but yeah. So did any of you see the northern lights Friday or Saturday night? Um, if you did and you have photos, post them over in the Facebook group. My son Elijah took some awesome photos, and I'll tell Big Daddy that he should post those over there um, and share them with everyone. But anyway, so, and then Sunday we went and met Dakota for lunch, and then Big Daddy and I went to the park and hung out for a little bit until a fight broke out. <laughs> Not with us, thankfully. <laughs> There was some, um, some people in the park. So, today, what have I got going on? Okay, I haven't colored in a long, long time. But I know there's, like, adult coloring books. And some adults, you know, enjoy coloring. And so, I'm, I'm going to give it a go today and see. Um, in June, I'm participating in a Blythe, um, retreat. A Blythe doll retreat and it is an under the sea theme a beach theme and under the sea and so a lady by the name of Karen Lewis she illustrated this artwork as a coloring page to represent the um, virtual Blythe retreat happening in June and so some of the ladies are coloring those and so I thought huh I'll give it a try like I said, I haven't colored in a while, but I think it'd be fun to give it a try. So, one of the dolls that I'm using is Opal, and she has um, mint green hair. So, I was going to do this doll's hair. I have this aqua color. I don't know if these... I can't even read what it says, even though it's right here in front of my face. Aqua something. Aqua green. I, yeah, okay, here it is in English. I'm trying to read the other language. <laughs> it's in English here, and then two different languages, and I'm trying to read those. It's aqua green. Okay. So... I don't know. I haven't colored in a long, long time, y'all. And I sure haven't colored since I don't have any fingers. Since I've lost all these fingers. So bear with me. And let's just see how this works out. <laughs> I just got to stay in the lines, right? <laughs> Maybe I can stay in the lines. <laughs> what about you guys? Have you colored in a long time? Like... Have you tried some of the adult coloring books? Um, I know a lot of people do find those very therapeutic and just calming and soothing. And although I'm using colored pencils, but I have read in the past that smelling crayons, like Crayola crayons, lowers your blood pressure. So, hey... If you ever need to lower your blood pressure, pull out some crayons and take a few big sniffs <laughs> and see if that helps. Maybe I should try that before my nurse comes one day. 
I said, um, I don't even know that I have any Cray Crayola crayons in the house. I probably don't. But they say that s smelling crayons lowers your blood pressure. So yeah, I just thought I would color a little bit and just chat with you guys. See what's going on in your life. Um, and share what I got coming up. Tuesday. Today's Monday and I'm not doing anything today. Just chilling. Big Daddy's at work. Now Tuesday, I plan on going to the library for a crochet club. I believe it's this Tuesday. I need to double check the calendar, but I think it is this Tuesday. So I will check that out and see if I can't go. Big Daddy needs to put some oil in my car. And some Freon. I bought it, the oil and the Freon, several weeks ago, but he hasn't. I guess he hasn't felt like doing it. Uh, when he gets home from work, he, that's all he can do to just make it in the house. So I need to see if he's going to be able to do it or find someone that can. I have several jobs around the house that I need to find somebody to do, such as um, where my microwave is positioned. I ha I need somebody to add some boards, a board up under that. I have the board that needs to be cut, so I have to find someone with a saw that can just cut this board. The length that needs to be cut and they need to have a drill because we've lost our drill <laughs> when Elijah moved I guess our drill moved also <laughs> ain't that the way it works and so um I need to find someone with a drill and also a saw to cut a board the right length And then also with a drill that can put something on the wall for me that needs to be drilled. So yeah, I need to find a handyman that can do these few little things for me. Because they've been needing to be done for like a long, long time. Just Big Daddy hasn't been able to do it. He does the best that he can. I'm not complaining about him. He does all that he can. Um, and then also I have a lock that I need to put on the inside of my doll room door. And the reason why I need a lock is to lock the cats out. I have a lock on the outside. And so whenever I come out of my room, I do lock that door so the cats um can't go in there but while i'm in the doll room if i shut the door to keep them out they are constantly messing with that door trying their best to get it open constantly <laughs> they want to be in there so bad with me it's not that they want to be in the doll room they just want to be where i'm at but when they come in the doll room, I have to watch Sissy like a hawk because she steals everything. And Sassy just goes around knocking stuff over. If it's in her way, she just moves it. <laughs> she just pushes it out of her way so she can lay down or whatever it is she's wanting to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time staying in the lines, to be honest. I mean, I haven't got out, but I can see that I might have a little bit, but it's not dark enough that it can be seen. But yeah, I, I might need to color some to kind of strengthen my hands. 
you know, when my kids were little, um, like three, four, five years old or so, I always had things for them to do to, um, because I had researched things that would help with fine motor skills to um, help with their writing and, you know, things like that to get them ready for school and stuff. And so I used to have things, a list of things, and I would change it up all the time to have them do different activities. And I probably need to do some of that myself because um, my hand is cramping, <laughs> cramping up pretty bad there. But yeah, I always, um, you know, was having them to do things to improve their fine motor skills. I think my balloon, I'm going to do one yellow. I'm not quite sure about the other one yet. Now, which one is in front and which one is in the back? I'm going to say this one is in the front. But yeah, I used to have them to do things to improve their fine motor skills. And I probably should be doing something like that. Um, I mean, I write my name just fine when I have to sign stuff at the hospital. Um, I write my name just fine. One of the doctors, um, when I wrote my name, he was like, look at there. You write better than me. And then when I saw him again, he said, I told my wife. <laughs> Did you write better than me? But, you know, doctors don't write anyway, right? They don't write very... Um, readable. I don't know. That's what I always said about Dakota. Dakota has horrible handwriting. You know, even though I worked with him and worked with him and... Um, you know, like I said, did fine motor skill things with him. I did everything I could to try to improve his handwriting. His handwriting is horrible. It has always been like that. And so, when he was little, I was like, or younger, you know, when he was a kid, I used to say, I guess he's going to be a doctor. Because <laughs> if you're a doctor, it doesn't matter what your handwriting looks like. So I used to just say that, being silly. But he is not a doctor, but you know he can decorate those cakes. He can, and you know I always wonder like, he did art. He, um, some amazing art pieces he has produced, and you know fine, fine tilt paintbrushes and he could paint anything you know the gr finest and smallest of details but he couldn't write worth the crap <laughs> and so and then here he is now decorating cakes but yeah he can't write <laughs> readable you know what I'm saying Alright, there is one balloon. I don't know what color I'm going to paint the other one. I mean paint. I color the other one just yet. Maybe pink, but I'm going to finish up her. Work a little bit more on her hair. And see. What color I decide to do that. But yeah, Dakota can't write worth the crap. I mean, it is bad writing. And even when he writes numbers, sometimes you're just like, what in the world? <laughs> like, you know what the number means, but you're like, why did he write it that way? But I used to have them do all kinds of activities to try to improve that and one time you know those plastic canvas okay so I had found online I guess somewhere I had found some pictures 
for simple sewing. It was taking a big plastic needle such as this and yarn in this plastic canvas and if you you know follow directions and count it over the right amount of squares and did the right color yarn and whatever squares it wanted you to do it would create a you know a cute little picture of yarn and so i had dakota doing that as um as a therapy type thing to improve his uh, fine motor skills that was one of the things I had him doing was working with that needle to improve that and so one day Angela was in the car with us my friend Angela she's she and I have been friends since we were in the fourth grade So she's been in my kids' life their whole life. I mean, they just think Angela's like part of the family, right? <laughs> and so, um, one day Angela was in the car with us and Dakota was in the back seat. He said, and she's got me sewing now. Like it was just the most horrible thing in the world. And so he talked about that for a minute. Okay. So then whenever we dropped her off and she got out of the car, he said, when we get home, can I do some of that sewing? <laughs> he secretly liked it, but he pretended to Angela that he didn't like it. But that's one of the things I know that I had him to do. And I know, um, you know, a lot of times people knock video games. My kids were not big on video games ever, although we had some gaming systems. But um, video games is for good for hand-eye coordination. And so sometimes I would assign them to play a video game. That's because they weren't into video games. <laughs> They hardly ever played video games. But it is good for hand-eye coordination. But now they both have switches. Is that what you call them? A switch? No, a switch back in my day was totally different. <laughs> but they have these switch... It's a handheld game system, and um, I think they do play those some. When Elijah was doing that security work, I know he played his Switch a lot while he was just sitting there doing nothing. And I guess Dakota still plays his, I don't know. Yeah, I just thought I would color this and um, share a photo with the girl who created it, Karen. It's a cute picture. It may take me a while to complete it because my hand is needs rest already <laughs> I like that blue hair my my doll Opal has blue hair and she's going to be participating in the Blythe retreat she is um, attending that And then my other doll that is participating is Biloxi. Her name is Biloxi, like the Biloxi Beach. So the other things I have going on this week, like I said, I have, um, I'm going to try to go to the library on Tuesday. And then I have doctor's appointment in Shreveport 
on Friday. So that's what we have going on this week that I know of at the moment. What about you guys? What do you have going on this week? Any big plans? I told Big Daddy we need to nail down a day that we're going to go um, meet with the lady that works with him so I can give her that duck blanket because that baby's just growing <laughs> and he and she needs to set a date you know, what day we're going to meet up. So hopefully, I'm going to tell him to shoot for this week. I'm going to tell him that. I might text him that in a few minutes. Trying to make sure I'm getting the hair and not in between the hair strands and all that. It's really a cute photo that she drew. Yeah, I was thinking about, you know, as I started this, I was thinking about this might be good therapy for my hands. Although this hand is the weakest. <laughs> but I can't I can't color and do stuff like that with my left hand. Um, this is my dominant hand here. And this is the hand that's the weakest and probably needs the most something something. <laughs> but I think I might have... I was thinking I might have an adult coloring book somewhere, but maybe not. That was a long, long time ago that I had one. And I'm not sure, I'm not really sure what happened to it. That might have been pre-flood, to tell you the truth. A lot of times we do that, we're just like, yeah, we have such and such. And Big Daddy did that the other day. He was looking for something. Oh, oh, the candles. Okay. We had bad storms to come through, and electricity was going off and on, and um, he was looking for our emergency kit. I used to have a box that had stuff in it, like candles, matches, um, different things like that for like an emergency kit. So he was looking for our emergency candles. And he come in here and ask me where they were. And I said, oh, we don't have that anymore. That was pre-flood. You know, b before 2016. And he was like, well, we had a box. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I was like, yeah, a long time ago. That was like before the flood. We don't have that anymore. That didn't satisfy him. He was looking all over the house for this box that we don't have anymore looking for these candles he was in here looking up in my yarn like looking in my yarn shells for the candles and I'm just like why would I have candles in there <laughs> <laughs> he was determined we had these candles somewhere and I was hiding them from him I guess I don't know <laughs> But we do that all the time. We, we'll think about something that we used to have. And then we'll just be like, look for it, look for it. And then finally it'll dawn on us, you know, oh, that was pre-flood. Sometimes um, I'll be talking to someone and I'll say, you know, something like, oh, yeah, I have that book. And then later to, you know, I realize, oh, I don't have that book anymore. <laughs> that was something we had before the flood. Not after the flood. I 
Now, this is something like what I would have enjoyed painting when I was still painting artwork. Sassy's trying to come over and see what I'm doing here. Right when I got went to get up this morning, she decided to come snuggle. Like, we didn't snuggle half the night, but she had got up and she came back in there and got up there and wanted to snuggle for a little bit. So, I had to lay in the bed a little bit longer to snuggle with her. I guess that's hair back here, so. So just filling in the blanks. So at this virtual Blythe retreat, we are going to be creating um, some jewelry and different things for our our dolls boho maybe even like sewing a boho dress I did get my sewing machine out <clears throat> well Big Daddy had broke it and so he's been trying to fix it so he's trying to super glue it back together <laughs> to fix it so it is sitting on the dining table and um, we've got to figure out how to thread it and get that bobbin going again and such and then I'm going to try to sew I've got some material i got some fat quarters from Walmart and I'm going to try to sew some dresses, doll size dresses. So do any of you guys sew? I've never been a sewist, a seamstress or anything. In the past years when my kids were little, I could sew just enough to um, create them like, you know, costumes. I could sew just about that much. <laughs> so I could sew, um, you know, costumes and put things like that together. But sewing anything that, you know, actually has to look good, I've never really even tried. Now, in junior high, I did all of mine and Angela's sewing. I know y'all have heard this story before. We had sewing projects that we had to do and turn in at different times of the year. And one time we had to do... Um, a button, a hook eye, and a snap. And so I ended up sewing hers and sewing mine. And she made an A and I made a B. Even though I sewed all the pieces. <laughs> hers and mine. I can sew like, I can make a pillow. Uh, I think I've made curtains before, you know, just hemmed them and then folded over the top and made a pocket, you know, just sewed across to make a pocket to, um, you know, run the curtain rod through. 
So I've done simple things like that. But I'm not really a sewing, you know, professional. <laughs> not even a semi. <laughs> oh, so that's what I have going on so far. Yeah, it'll probably take me a while because I do need to rest my hands and um let my hands rest before I just push it too much that it's hurting too bad. But anyway guys, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all again in the next video. Bye friends.